So how I became involved in hematology? Well, to be perfectly honest, I grew up at a dinner table with two hematologists. My parents were both hematologists. My father was an adult hematologist and looked after individuals with bleeding disorders through his career. My mother was a laboratory hematologist uh, and actually ran the coagulation lab where all of the bleeding disorder testing was done. I think people realized a long time ago that individuals with bleeding disorders didn't just need a doctor. They needed nurses who understood uh, these people and their uh, health issues, but they needed more. They needed physiotherapists, they needed social workers, they, and sometimes they needed other people to help in what sometimes is very complex management of conditions. What is somewhat more recent is the pulling together of teams who work together, uh, get to know the patients and their families uh, in an ongoing way, uh, and can provide them, therefore, not just with the medical component of care, uh, but with a full range of services that they may need. So I knew when I started this that programs in Quebec and programs in Ontario and in British Columbia had already moved in that direction. They hadn't all been completely successful when I started, uh, but uh, they had had interactions with their provincial ministries of health or with individuals in government who were interested in this concept. And so having spoken to them, I actually felt that if they could do it, we could do it in Winnipeg as well. I must say that we, we, the Bleeding Disorders Program, did not do this alone. And we had had a number of meetings with various people uh, in uh, government, but what really clinched it is when we brought our allies in the uh, Canadian Hemophilia Society local chapter to come with us. There are many things that I find rewarding, but most of them relate to my relationships with people. And that includes both my relationships with the other healthcare providers that I work with, so the other members of the Bleeding Disorders team, uh, but also, and most importantly, the patients and their families. Uh, and since I've been around for so long, I've had the opportunity to meet some children when they were very young, really babies, uh, and watch them grow up. Uh, and now they're much taller than I am, they're married, they have children of their own, uh, and they are very well. And if that's not rewarding, I don't know what is. So what does this reward mean to me? Well, first of all, I was completely shocked when the letter arrived in the mail. So it certainly wasn't something I expected, uh, but I am very flattered and humbled to receive it. I've had the opportunity to interact with a lot of people in the chapter uh, over the years, uh, and I think that we've done a lot of very good work for individuals with bleeding disorders and their families over that time. Uh, and it has been such a pleasure to work as an ally with the Manitoba chapter that I'm just so delighted to receive this award. It means a great deal to me. We have come a tremendous way in improving care for individuals and their families uh, over the last 30 years. And we are on the frontier of some very exciting new developments that will improve care. Those include better clotting factor products that are coming down the pike as a result of research and coming very quickly for us. Uh, genetic uh, testing has greatly improved, so we can tell families in much more detail uh, aspects uh, about uh, a condition that they've inherited or in fact might pass on to the next generation. Uh, even uh, gene therapy, of course, which seemed like a pipe dream a decade ago, uh, is coming much closer. So I think that we are all going to have to continue to work as a team, and by that I mean the patients and their families, the chapter, the healthcare team, and uh, the provincial government to continue to provide the best care for uh, Manitobans with bleeding disorders on into the future.